Hey there, this is Greg Archer. I'm standing outside of the big top here in San Francisco of Cirque du Soleil's Totem. It's a big, bold, grand spectacle of a show. It's all about evolution, where we came from, where we're going, and it's absolutely fantastic. You don't want to miss it. We're going to go behind the scenes to interview some of the performers in this great show, find out the feats that they have to do, and what it takes to actually do them. And we're going to tinker around here and there, too. We might even evolve somewhat, I hope, by the end of this. So stay tuned. Here we go. Come along for the ride. Totem is really about the evolution of life. And uh, with any Cirque experience, we really try to, when you walk into the big top, transform you into another world. So for the next two and a half hours, you can forget about everything that's going on outside. It's a very, it's, it's a very happy show, as you say. It's funny and it is sexy and it's, uh, it's, it's just beautiful. We're here with the crystal man, Joe Putignano who uh, is absolutely fantastic in this show. Uh, congratulations, by the way. That, it, it must take a lot to do what you do. Can you, can you talk about, first of all, your role in the show? Because you, you start the show. You are the amazing crystal man. I'm the entity, you could even say God, that brings down uh, this, this change, which is evolution, which the, the story is based on. And I, uh, I do a little bit of contortion and a, a little bit of high bar, that's my, my physical stuff. But what my character represents is, is, the, is the light that uh, enables all of, of the creatures on Earth to uh, transform and evolve. Yes, the Crystal Man, when the designer created it, they wanted uh, not only light to reflect it, but to refract it. So it's made of uh, sequins and mirrors, and there's 4,001 pieces that are either glued or sewn onto the costume for that specific costume. Wow. So it's really a spectacle in itself. Come on, come on. All right, we're in the artistic tent where many of the athletes train and, and uh, hone their skills for what they do in Totem. We're here with Alexei and Nikolai. I'm a flyer for Russian bar act, and I basically I jump on the. It's a three poles. So how many people are on the the team of operating the Russian bars? It's eleven, eleven of us. Okay. Yeah, eleven. We've got 52 artists that perform basically every show. Uh, we work uh, six days a week, and we do between eight and ten shows uh, every week. And then we've got about, there's about another 50, 55 technicians that support the entire show. What do you love most about doing what you're doing? That I get to do it. The theme for me is personal. It's very personal, which I imagine is for every artist or even, even person who watches the show. Um, I think in anyone's personal life, we've all had experienced a great deal of, of evolution and change. And in my own, I have. Uh, and I try to represent that change uh, for myself and for others to kind of, you know, I, I came from a kind of a bad place and now I'm in a different place. So I kind of try to bring that and inspire it to others. When you're on stage, just take energy from people and enjoy it, what, what we do, yeah. For comedy, for comedy we have practice in the mind and the, the difficult of to, to be a comic, a clown, a comic in a Cirque show, like in Cirque du Soleil show, is that you change city every two months. City and sometimes country. Okay. So in different country we have different uh, kind of humor. What about San Francisco have you incorporated? They are very warm, very open, they, are, okay. they, they love uh, they really love, uh, I, I'm not going to say easily, but they want to love, they want to enjoy. In, in the first act that you see me in the show, I, I kind of fight, not fight, but I'm fighting to, to get the beautiful girl uh, in the rings, you know? Yeah. And then when, when I have the girl, when I have the girl, and the two guys come to me, I show you now what I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You know, what you yeah. do and call me, baby. Call me, call me. Yeah. This is when, when, uh, when you want to, when you want to fight without fighting. You know, fight without fighting. Fight without fighting. You know, so it is just be a better world if we can do that. I, I, I guess that works. Okay. What else? The dance, uh, the sexy dance. Okay. Sexy dance with the fingers. With the fingers. 
All right, so hold this. All right, so, easy, finger, finger. finger, and boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need, you need, you need training about that. You know. You I think I do need training. Are you exhausted afterward? Tired? Tired for sure. Yeah. After ten show for sure. Yeah. Ten show. Not come at home and just go sleep. You know, we have adrenaline and all this feelings so at least two or three hours you need to come down in california a special glass of wine you know. from the wine country yeah wine country for sure there you go you could be a spokesperson for the for the wine all right so you heard it here alexei and nikolai part of the russian bars an amazing sequence in the show which you would love so go see it totem here in san francisco thanks you guys